In this PowerPoint uh, lesson, I want to cover layouts and uh, slide masters. So, um, first of all, when you're inserting a new slide, uh, you typically get the default slide, which will probably be just a bulleted list, or actually, no, they've changed that over the years. So when you ask for a new slide, you get you get this, and oftentimes it'll be whatever you had in the last slide. Um, you, you may also often get uh, this one, title and content, right? That's a very popular one because from there you can, you can make this a table, a chart, smart graphic, put in pictures, online pictures, or video. So this is a very, very common uh, layout. However, at any time, you can change the layout that you have, right? So you just pick any one of these and you will convert the slide that you have into a different one. Um, and you can even have content in the slide and still change it. So I'm going to demonstrate here. We have uh, something with a bit of a big list. No, not that big. But I'd be able to take this, okay, which is basically a uh, just a content title and content slide, and then I can turn it into a two content slide. And then I'd be able to take some of this information if I wanted to, and just drag it into this one. So you're not stuck with the layout that you have now. So these are the layouts that are available to you. And um, they're pretty straightforward. They make a lot of sense. I just want you to know, though, though that the layouts that you get uh, are dependent upon um, the master. So if I go to view here, I'm going to ask for slide uh, master. And here, every one of those slide layouts that we saw is represented by one of these masters. And you can change what's in the masters. Now, this is a little techie, but they want you to know this. So it's, it's going to be part of the test. Um, so right away, uh, this here, if I hover over it, it's, it's the basic slide master. And most of the slides here are just basic regular slides. And actually it says from one to 12, that's what I've got. However, this is the title master. So this would change only your title slides. So if you decided that you want a different font, different background, if you want the placeholder to look different in title slides only, you can affect it here. So if I decide that I want my titles to only be on that side, right? Or to make it more logical, I'll bring it to this side here. Uh, now, when you go back to your regular presentation, I'm going to go back to just from, I'm going to close. That's how you get out of master views. I'm going to come back here, right? So now you see how, how my title on the title slide only has been affected because I changed in the master. So that's where the control of your layouts happens to be in, uh, so I'm going to view here and slide master. You can also change your themes here. And when you change your theme here, it'll change it for the entire presentation. I'm not really sure why you can change it in slide master and in just regular, because uh, you, you can of course change it here as well. I believe you can change it in, uh, I'm going to get out of slide master here for a sec. So in design, that's where we can change the themes. So change it here, or you can change it in Slide Master, right? They do the same. Now you can you can go to Master Layout here and determine what it is you want affected by this particular Slide Master. So you can remove certain things from this. So if they asked you to remove things from the master layout, you can. I, I don't know, I can't think of any reasons why you would want to, but you can. So you can omit some of these things so that they don't show up. So if you don't want your title slides to have a footer, let's say, I guess that would make sense. I could omit this, and now there will be no footer on your title, okay? So I guess there's this is a great example. So I contradicted myself that quickly. So you have the ability to change what shows up and what doesn't show up, okay? So you need to know that. Next, you can insert placeholders if you wanted to. So you can add things to any one of these layouts so that they automatically get any one of these things. So these are content type placeholders here. So most of them have, and if you decided that you wanted your title slide not to have a subtitle, right, you can delete that here. And then none of your 
title slides will have a subtitle available, right? I'm, like, I'm going to bring that back. And, and you could replace it with a different placeholder if you wanted to, any one of these placeholders. So what you're doing here for this presentation is that you're, you're totally, completely uh, having control over how each of the different layouts are going to come in to this slide. A lot of power, a lot of um, things that, that you can add and do. So you can change the layout at any time. You can move the placeholders. You can delete the placeholders. Now, I'm going to get out of Slide Master for a sec. So just understand that you have the ability to do that within Slide Master. When you're done working in Slide Master, you don't actually type anything for your presentation here. This is simply where you go to alter the layouts uh, within your presentation. Okay? When you're ready to go back to work, you got to get out of here. You can't type actual data or put in actual pictures. And whatever you put in here is going to show up on all of your slides. So I guess before I leave, I'm going to go over that just real quickly. So here I've got just the general slides, but this, this, this general slide is being used a lot. If I decided that I want to put in my corporate logo in here, right, and I had a picture of it, I'm going to put in a shape instead. But pretend that this is a picture and it's my corporate logo. If I put that here, in Slide Master, you see here, it's going to show up on every single slide except for the title slide. All right? If I wanted it there, I'd have to put it in there automatically. But that's how you can get something to show up on every slide. And I realize your theme will show up right on every slide. However, this is outside of the theme. So if you put something in Slide Master, it's a fast, easy way of getting it on, onto every slide and in exactly the same position. So for years, that's really all I ever used Slide Master for is when I wanted something on every single slide. Now back to layout, if I decide, here I'm on my title slide, and let's say that I decide that I don't, I don't want the um, subtitle, right? But then if I change my mind, I can have this layout reset to the way it was. So I've changed the color that I applied to it. So it reset means reset this slide to the original layout that it was before. So that's a pretty powerful button. If you end up messing something up and you didn't like what you did, you're, you're able to reset the layout. Okay, so I'm just checking my notes here. I, I just want to go back to the Slide Master, and I, I think it's important, it bears repeating here, I'm going to go to Slide Master, that if they want you to insert a placeholder into one of your contents, one of your layouts, you, you're going to need to first find the layout that they're referring to. And if you hover over these, they tell you. So this is the comparison layout. This is the two content layout. So if they ask you to insert a placeholder, right, or delete something, uh, but if they ask you to insert a layout in your two content layout, that's what you need to do. So you can click one of these and you would just simply click and drag. And now this particular layout is going to have an area where you can just put a chart. Okay. And I can delete. I can go back to the <clears throat> top here where I created this. I can delete this, get that out of the way, and just come back here. So now, whenever I bring in one of these styles, I'm auto automatically going to get this little chart area here. So that is in two content layout used by slide nine. Now, what I found is when, when I do insert something, a new When I do insert a new placeholder in any one of these layouts, it, it doesn't add it to the existing presentation. It only adds it to any new slide that I create in this style. I'm not sure if that's a glitch. It doesn't seem like that makes much sense to me. So just keep that in mind. Um, when you insert a placeholder and you add it, okay, uh, it's not necessarily going to add it to the existing slides because I have one of these in my presentation, right? It tells me we're here in slide nine. But when I go to slide nine, you're gonna see that I don't have that. It's not there. But if I go to slide 12 and I insert a new slide and I make it the two content style, you see here, I have the ability to insert a chart, right? So again, not sure if that's a glitch, not sure if that's supposed to work or not, but I think it's just important that you know that you can go to Slide Master and you can insert a placeholder into any one of these layouts. You should know that. Um, the other thing that, 
that you need to know is that you can affect the footers, right, on any one of these layouts, right? This, if you if you do it here, this is your slide master, right? This will do most of your most of your different layouts, right? But it won't do the title. So, um, if you want to affect your uh, header and footer area, you need to go to insert for some crazy reason. So I'm still in slide master view, but I'm going to insert and I'm going to header and footer. And here, if you just hit apply, it'll only apply to the layout that you happen to be working in. All right, but if you hit apply all, it'll apply to all the layouts. So let's just give this a try. So I can say, give me a slide number, and in the footer, I'm going to ask for a footer. I'm going to say, I'm just going to type something obvious here, like bottom. And then if I hit apply, it's only going to be on those slides. But if I hit apply to all, It'll show up in all of them. So I'm going to exit Slide Master and go to Normal View here. And you'll see that I have the word footer in all of them except the title slide, maybe. Nope, it did go in the title slide as well. Uh, I'm going to go back to Slide Master, and um, I'm going to go from there. I'm going to go to Insert once again. I'm going to go to Header and Footer once again, and here we have Date. Now, the date it's showing you down here, it's going to go to the bottom left, okay? And where it goes depends oftentimes on your theme. Sometimes you'll change your theme, and these will be get switched around, so don't be surprised if that happens. Now, here are two choices. Uh, fixed means that if I create this today, it's going to have today's date. However, update automatically means that whatever, whenever this presentation happens to open, that's the date that's going to show up. So that's an important thing that you need to know. They might test you on that as well. So you either want it fixed as to the date you created it, or you want it update. You can't have it both, right? It's going to be one or the other. And then uh, you can hit apply or apply to all. All right. Um, one more thing, um, back to the uh, back to the slide master tab here. You can actually create your own layout as well, right? Um, so a custom layout. So here we can go insert layout, and that will allow you to create your own custom layout. And then you'd set it up any way you want. So you can insert different placeholders into here. So you can say, all right, this is gonna have this layout's gonna have a picture here, and back to the slide master here, and it's going to have a chart here. Right? So if you find yourself using that kind of stuff, then you can, right? And that'll be one of the layouts. And I'm looking here, I'm hovering over it over it, and it says custom layout layout. <laughs> so I'm just gonna right click here and I see that I can rename this. And I'm just going to rename it uh, mine just for, and then I'm going to hit rename. So now I'm going to get out of master view and I'm going to take this slide. I'm going to say, can I make that mine? And there it is. All right. So we've just created a brand new layout and we've named it. And now we can use it inside of our presentation. Uh, see, I can see that being handy. Some of this other stuff, I, to be honest, I haven't found to be incredibly handy, but you're going to need to know it because it's in the book and it's likely going to be on the test. So familiarize yourself. Once again, I know I'm repeating myself, but this is new to a lot of you. If you want your slide master, you go to view and then you go to slide master, right? And these are simply uh, all the different layouts that are available to you. And the fact is that you can amend, you can change any one of these layouts in any number of ways. And even once you've created your own, if you want to delete it, you can delete that and it will no longer be in your layout menu. It won't be part of the list. Uh, you can't delete a layout that is actually being used in your presentations. Just keep that in mind as well. Lots of information. 
uh, big video, I know. 